Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph McHale. I'm a professor at TGIN, part of the City of Hope uh, Network, and I am the Chief Medical Officer of the International Myeloma Foundation. It's a pleasure to be here at the annual American Society of Hematology meeting, and I thought I would give you just a little bit of an overview of the great things that are happening in multiple myeloma that are being presented here at the ASH meeting. I get to think of it in three categories. Daratumumab-based combinations, bispecific therapy, and CAR T-cell therapy. So starting with daratumumab-based combinations, we all know that daratumumab is a great drug that we've been using for several years now, both alone and in combination, primarily in the relapse setting, but now we're starting to see it being used really across the whole board of multiple myeloma. So here at ASH, we've seen a very promising uh, research regarding combining it with the standard induction therapy of bortezomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone, or VRD, so now DARA VRD in patients who are planning to go to an autologous stem cell transplant, the Griffin study. And it's showing to us that this combination works well, it's safe to give, and most of us really believe that before long it will likely be the new standard of care, perhaps in about a year or maybe even less than a year. Secondly, we've seen daratumumab with ixazomib combinations in patients primarily not going to an autologous stem cell transplant. So ixazomib, of course, is another proteasome inhibitor that's given by mouth uh, and that is very conveniently delivered, just three pills a month. And so we're seeing, again, synergy of these two combinations together. And then perhaps most profiled here at ASH is daratumumab with carfilzomib in the early relapse setting, what's called the CANDOR study. In fact, it's being presented as a late-breaking abstract, which is really very few abstracts ever get selected as really breaking news, as it were. And I think this is a particularly important combination because so often now, as we give patients VRD plus or minus a transplant and then lenalidomide continuously, when they're relapsing on lenalidomide, we tend to want to use a non-lenalidomide regimen and daratumumab and carfilzomib are two of the most potent agents we have. And this study showed that when we combine those two together, not only can we do so safely, we can do so very effectively with a high response rate and keep patients in remission for a long time, as we know that's so important earlier in the disease. But it's not just about that, of course. There are so many other things to discuss, including the bispecific therapy. So this is the concept of having a drug that connects the tumor to the local T cells in the body so that those T cells can help destroy the tumor. And we've seen earlier iterations of bispecific therapy, and as they're being honed and developed further, we're really seeing some remarkable results. And we have a, a, an abstract being presented here that is very attractive, where it holds on to the BCMA part of a myeloma cell, reaches out with its other hand, as it were, that's why we call it bispecific, and hooks on to local T cells to help destroy the tumor. It's still early, it's not quite ready for the clinic yet, but we're finding it's more conveniently delivered less frequently than the earlier drugs, and we think will be a big part of almost the off-the-shelf-like concept of CAR T-cell therapy that doesn't require all the complications of CAR T-cell therapy. And finally, on the subject of, of CAR T-cell therapy, we've seen some tremendous advancements here in CAR T-cell therapy. It's hard to summarize all of the abstracts being submitted, but really what we're seeing is, if you will, the next wave or the second generation CAR T-cell therapy where we can deliver it more safely and more effectively. One of the things we saw early on in CAR T-cell therapy was that it worked, and it worked in a high percentage of patients, but it didn't really last for very long. We sometimes call it T-cell exhaustion, or as I call it, the, the car runs out of gas. And so now we have strategies and methods to have the T-cells last longer. So these are exciting times for multiple myeloma. We, we obviously hate this disease and want to find any way possible to seek to cure it and to help our patients through their journey with myeloma. And this ASH has really been a major step forward in providing better therapies for our patients.